in this journey of destiny, you need God to help you. And what we are getting into this week has been a week of just alignment. Because can you imagine, men, you have prayed for, for 40, over 40 days, but you have not really seen the results. That doesn't make sense. This is why the Lord said, align them so they can get the results. I would rather be aligned and get results than to keep praying while I'm out of alignment. Can I get an amen? amen? And whenever you start sharing these difficult messages, people start to disappear. Because they don't understand that the, the, the real power is in being in the will of God. Hello? And so I'm going to share with you and lead you in some prayers that are going to help you. And it might be a bit difficult because it might bring up some issues that you don't even want to be talked about. But sometimes in bringing up those things, that's how you deal with them. You cannot deal with what you refuse to bring up. Are you here? The enemy uses Hosea 7 verse 1 against us. And the Lord said, when I would have healed you could be sick in your body and God wants to heal you. But the moment your season of healing comes, the moment your season of deliverance comes, the moment your season of elevation comes, the enemy brings up your issues. He says, when I would have healed Israel, then the iniquity, past issues of Ephraim was uncovered. So the enemy, listen, the Bible says, a curse without cause does not stick. The devil needs certain things to be able to accuse you before God. So this week, if you remove, if you focus on removing the obstacles, the, the talking about other people, the being slanderous, if you remove those things, I'm telling you, you walk into your breakthrough like Lucifer does not exist. So the Lord showed me, he said the enemy, he brings an issue with you and your brother so that you don't get a breakthrough. Even if it is not coming from your brother, the same brother, if it's coming from through someone else, he then uses that issue, the fact that you have an issue, which he brought, the fact that you have an issue, which the devil brought, he uses that to accuse you before God and say, this one cannot be blessed because look at his heart. The Lord said, if I open your heart, how many people will I see in there? It, it's, it's going to be like this today. It's because if you keep holding on to people, what they did to you, I'm telling you, you are stopping prayer from being answered. Some are not even clapping. They're already frustrated with me. This is so important. Raise your hands unto heaven. Say, Father, I choose to forgive. Did you hear that statement? I do what? Which means forgiving is what? A decision, not a feeling. I do what? I choose to forgive. It's painful, but I choose to forgive. It was bad what happened to me, but I choose to forgive. It still hurts me, but I choose to forgive. Listen, you don't forgive when you're okay. Oh, God help us. If you do not forgive, you'll never be okay. I'm going to give you an example before I get into my notes. Very, very gross. But this is what the Holy Spirit gave me. The Holy Spirit said, when you do not forgive, you are like somebody who's not flushing a toilet. But you are complaining about the smell. When you flush, you get rid of the mess. When you forgive, it's like flushing. So there's too much contamination in your heart. You are not flushing. And when you don't flush, the rest of the house begins to smell. There are too many smells around you. But the responsibility of flushing is with you. The person who offended you will never come and flush. 
Oh. <laughs> I said the person who offended you is not their responsibility to flash. It's your responsibility. So the enemy is frustrating the body of Christ by bringing issues in the body of Christ. Never mind witches and wizards. Right in the church here. Right here in the church. You have an issue with an usher who refused to give you a seat you wanted in 20, before COVID. And you are in the spirit when you come to church until you see that usher. So you can actually frustrate your word, your word for today. You can frustrate it because of what an usher did to you pre-COVID. Unforgiveness is one of devils, the devil's most powerful weapons. Listen to what the Holy Spirit said. He said bitterness equals to sickness. It's easy for you to be affected and inflicted with sickness if you are bitter. Ulcers come from bitterness. Ah, I'm not a doctor, but I know. High blood pressure. Tend your neighbor say, BP, I can go quira. BP, I can go quira. I can go quira. You have given that person too much power. Now they are about to kill you. When you go to a doctor and you say to the doctor, or oh, they measure your BP, the first thing they check is your BP. Doctors, can I get an amen? Yes. 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 And after they see your BP is high, they stop asking you about the sickness. They say, what's going on? <laughs> Do you need, put it down. Do you need someone to talk to? I don't know there will be enough fire tomorrow. But it's not a visa to not touch sapphire. It's not a visa to not touch sandim. It's not a good decision. Satan will create a magraji and then over shan some magraji while you go block. It's like two people are standing here. He takes the hand of one person and clips the other one. And then he holds the hand of the other person and clips the, the other one. Hello? And then he says to God, you see, they are fighting. Whatever is happening between you and another person was caused by Lucifer. Lucifer entices Satanano Konzeresa. Kana Konzeresa over our accuser of Kwita Moyo Wakaoma. He can even harden your heart and then take the accusation to God and say, this one has got a hard heart. You can't bless them. So, so the devil has been messing us up and, and it's like now you even increase your prayer life because you think it's an issue of increasing prayer. And then the more you pray, the less the answers. Then you are now offended at God. Why are you not answering my prayers? I've been here for all 45 days. Lift up your hand. Today you are going to be healed. Nas donor nas au skudi kitira. Asipane shi chinga mukati. We are going to change something from within. We are going to change something from within. We are going to we are going to disarm the devil because it has been a hindrance to your spiritual revival. When you are bitter, lift up your hands. There are certain levels of spirituality that you can't get to. Listen, breakthroughs are dependent upon the state of your heart. <laughs> so before you are blessed, the state of your heart is checked. If there's issues in your heart, it slows down or blocks the blessing. Should we just pray in tongues? We release fire. 
Let me give you a few scriptures. Ephesians 4, verse 31 and 32. The Bible says, Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, mirijonga, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you. In case you've forgotten, with all malice. I'll take that again because I got two amens. He says, let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. You need to agree. We'll take it again. Let, it means you are the one who allows. Allow bitterness to go. Mugaraj bako mufa nge mne Benz. Asiku titipake Benz imomo tofa na kurifesa bitterness. Saka ukaramba kurifesa bitterness atukwase kupaka Benz. Mwa account mako mufa nge mne mari but maka zara bitterness. Wrath. Malice. Anger. You are angry about something that happened five years ago. And because of the anger, clamor, you, you, just, you just go off. You are always on edge. Why are you acting like I'm preaching to the wrong church? <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say, hey, go, you, how come you just go off? You just... <laughs> you just go off. And then from there, it gives birth to evil speaking. Out of the abundance of Zagazara Moy, of the heart, the mouth speaks. Evil speaking. Lift up your hands. There's no one who does not need this sermon. <laughs> I, 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 I want you to stop saying I wish so so and so was here. You are here. You are the one. You are number one on this sermon. Bitterness chimot karicha kafa shaka paka mgara jichiko chokuta akuna kwa chiru kuenda enda shifambe. The Lord said, if you knew how many things you are blocking by bitterness, you would, you would have forgiven long ago. Stagnation is proof there's unforgiveness somewhere. Why? Because you are praying God should answer. No, no, no. no. We are not talking about which is today. We are talking about ush, muroi, ush. It's a mock about it. We, Witchcraft must die. When you are bitter, hello, you become frustrated when others are blessed. Maybe let me help you. Garabas. Because right now I pay power. Is somebody here in church today? Yeah, you can pray while you're sitting. Don't worry, I'll share the prayer points. What's the last statement I said? My prayer power, I'm shut up with you. Stagnation. How many things have you stopped? Because you are bitter. And he says, and be kind to one another, right? How? Tender hearted, forgiving one another. Even as God is God in Christ. Did what? If God did not forgive us, he would not have sent Christ. His sending Christ was proof that he forgave us. He says, forgiving how many people? One another. 
Look at your neighbor. Practice on your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I forgive you. Mm. Say to the other neighbor, say, neighbor, I choose to forgive you. I know you have issues with ashes. I want you to look at an asher near you. Say, Asha, Asha, Asha. Wakansi and Shidona, Padka manifest. Are you here? Are you here? Rumbi, the end game of unforgiveness. Let me give you the end game from the Bible. The end game is so that you become like Cain. When you don't forgive, you will become a killer very soon. Kuma bitter words you break through You become like Cain. Cain had issues with, with Abel. When you practice bitterness, you are practicing to be a killer. Kune Akazaram Africa. Bitterness at people with potential success. The spirit of Cain. You need to pray against the spirit of Cain. Look at your neighbor and say, I know you came for Holy Ghost fire. It's tomorrow. But today, fire on unforgiveness. Motor. At Karabet, you push out it to push a prayer, want to push forward. Chitatinanyo push and the show to punish you, Chiningam Pini, Chinonzi Kusare Girira, Chitabamira. Answered prayers should not be this hard. No, I want to remember. So for your prayers to shift things, we first have to shift unforgiveness out of the way. Ka feeling ka uluku chengeta haka. Ka uluku bloka zinu. Do you know you can actually become a worshiper of that ka feeling? You know what the Holy Spirit said to me as I left home? He said, unforgiveness is work. Bitterness is work. Can I prove it to you? You'll be okay the whole day, but the time you see that person, basaratang. <laughs> can you imagine? Do you know you can have a conversation in your head? It starts like this. What, what causes bitterness and unforgiveness? To keep reciting the past. Mm, you are replaying. Unema video. Some of them are audio. Do you know the message? Muta ngema karuma lemon is it? Kanda ngoruku sushi na gonye. Listen. So. Through unforgiveness, you can become like Cain or you can become like Joseph's brothers. Joseph's br Joseph was, was, was favored by his father. Hello? And they, that, that issue against him, they actually decided to kill him. When you do not forgive, you become like Absalom. Absalom ended up fighting his father because he had an issue with his father that was not resolved. When authority offends you and you are unforgiving to authority, I'm not justifying wrong things by authority, but if you are unforgiving towards the authority and then you harbor that, it then gets into dishonor. And then dishonor leads to disrespect. And then you speak disrespectfully and you feel justified because of that issue. But that never ends well. Why? Absalom died. But it started with that issue against his authority. Are you here? Are you here? There's an example I want to give. Anonzani, John the Baptist he had an issue with Jesus. I have a question. Who announced Jesus? Huh? You used to announce to all your friends that this man of God is a good man. And then what happened? Something happened. Something will always happen between you and your men of God. And when it happens, you have an opportunity either to become a great person or to become a person like John the Baptist. John the Baptist was eventually beheaded because he was offended. If you are offended, you can be beheaded. If you are offended, you can be beheaded. 
the offense is looking for your head. What is, what is your head? Your leadership. So if your leadership is removed, that's the end of you. You can die justified with Waka Kanyu, but you still die. Even if Jesus wronged John the Baptist, John the Baptist was more wrong in not forgiving. I don't want you to get stuck in facts. And you know what, what the devil do, does? He gathers people who agree with your offense. Do you know Absalom, he gathered all the people that were offended by David. I don't know what you are doing amongst former church members. A former church member is like an ex-girlfriend. She will never say something good. Ex-girlfriend, she will never say something good. Ah, hey, next bit. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. I can't eat hot. I can't eat hot. I can't eat hot. You are laughing. You are angry today because someone took your virginity and they broke your heart. You are even married today. 20 years later. But you can go funga. <laughs> yeah. And then you say, Marita, I could have queen you. <laughs> As if God was involved in your fornication. Am I, am I talking to somebody? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, the way you pray, you can be a pastor of a great church. Where are the answers? They are stuck in unforgiveness. So we are going to talk about it. Tell them we are going to talk about it. Matthew 14 verse 10. So he sent and had John beheaded in prison. But it started with, Jesus, are you the one? Are you really a man of God? Or should we look for another? This happens even with your boss. Either way, the end game is Are you offended at your ex-wife? I just thought, let me throw that in there. Ndata my boy ya my tombi baka kukanya ere Zwe kuti nasu kutata kurora And do you know how we know you are bitter? Waka za noneza Waka za vaite Waka za Aywa kana Loka randika zongo And then you start to preach to us Paul waka karega Paul was more effective. <laughs> I said, yeah, Paul. Yeah, ex-wife. 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 Aka kutuka. Ane zwara, aka kutuka. Shuko wafila kunge uri mwana mdiki. And the anima statement, aka taura. Achina, pa, pa, pa. Osa tuwa flash. Osa tuwa flash. Wakango, upakango tuwa statement one. Saka pa waka mira pa ponote uri murume we we. Uh, Fema, 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 Fema. And don't call me Naomi. Call me Mara. Che, even before you even study the meaning of Mara. You know that Mara? I don't know Mara. Mara means bitter. There are people right now, you have changed your name to bitter. If we sit with you five minutes, we know what you are bitter about. Even if you meet someone for the first time, you are telling them issues that happened even five years ago. Because your name is Mara. 
Are you refusing to move past the bitter waters of Mara? Lift up your right hand. Say, Father, Father, remove the Mara from me. Remove the bitterness from me. It's stopping me from moving forward. It's blocking me. Can you imagine having a relationship with Mara? What? Hey. Wow. <laughs> the first thing is, what's your name? Call me Mara. <laughs> Mara is ready for the next fight. There are people who are ready for you. Even a woman church parking lot So as far as she's concerned, someone had a woman battery my pair big. Uh-uh, those are good. Udaut in the kude. Ndakuda nduk pa moyo wangu. Ndak pa moyo wangu ozo ndi siya. Saka ipa wasiya ma pepe pepe wangu. Listen. Bitterness, anger, unforgiveness can override your destiny even if you are a man of God. Moses, the Bible says that it went ill with Moses because of God's children. So you are a pastor, you have issues, never know Sangano, justifiably so. When I sang an bika beans. Now you are being offended because Duguta Rotunobika beans. I will be a beans. But I refuse to be beans zako. Zi bloke Mazarati. Ah yeah, 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 yeah. I refuse. Could you be the big one in the Sangana Zip block a Rolls Royce? When you keep offense, you are allowing the offender to determine your destiny. You are giving them too much power. Are you listening to me? Now, notice we are not getting into the details of what happened to you. Once we get into the details, you feel justified. There is no enough justification to hold on to unforgiveness. It doesn't matter what they did. Let it go. Listen, forgiveness benefits you more than the person you are forgiving. Satan and system you to a regular moon and you have to a regular moon. You have to a I'm telling you the truth. And he will send people to tell you to a regular moon. You have to a No problem, you how many have attended such seminars? We're talking about prayer. He revived for guy. Mark 11, 25 and 26. Are you here, somebody? He says, and whenever you stand, whenever you stand, number one, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him. Or a hair. Huh? So that your father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. Now, how many have prayed for mercy? Okay. But how many have received mercy? The numbers are dwindling. I don't believe you. If you received mercy, what where you would be by now? Could it be that you have blocked your receiving mercy because you refuse to be merciful? He says the set time to favor has come. Huh? He will arise and have mercy on Zion. So the Lord said to me, I want to have mercy on you, but you are refusing to have mercy on others. So by your mercilessness, you are blocking the mercies of the Lord that are new every morning. Can you imagine? There are mercies that are piling up for you every day. That you are not receiving because we are not He's talking about prayer. 
So whenever I stand praying, the first thing I must check is do I have anything against anyone? Before my first prayer point, Gandhi Tangenda check out in the issue here. This might sound like why is the man of God talking about this? It's got everything to do with prayer. Do you know having a grudge with a customer that has not paid does not make them pay? Actually, it makes them delay even more. Because if the devil realizes that this thing works, he will continue. He will even send more customers. Whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him so that your father in heaven may forgive you. So God does not forgive according to his mercy. He forgives according to your forgiving. Colossians 2 verse 12 to 13. Say, I want God's mercy. This message is a rescue for your destiny. Say, I want God's mercy. Say it again. Say, I want God's mercy. He says, Colossians 2, verse 12 to 13. Uh, no, 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 no. Give me verse 3. Yeah, Colossians 3. My apologies. Colossians 3. He says, Colossians 3. Colossians 3. Colossians 3. Verse 2 to 3. Colossians 3. 12 to 13. Sorry. 12 to 13. Therefore, let us, the elect of God. How many are the elect of God? Holy and beloved. Put on. Somebody say peka. Put on what? Put on what? Peka nyasha. For a meeting, never one peka nyasha. I'm going to peka hasha. Visa hasha. Peka nyasha. Kindness. Humility, it takes humility to forgive. Proud people sound like this. I was That is a sign of pride. It takes humility to forgive. Luke 17, verse 3 to 4, quickly. Luke 17, verse 3 to 4. He says, take heed to yourself. If your brother sins against you, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. Hello? Do what? So, I'm going to go check it as you know. Tell them. Look at your neighbor and uh, point them with a the pro prophetic finger. Say, you and then you Have you ever told someone that you have an issue with them and they are shocked? But you know every time you saw that person, do you know what you said? <laughs> ah, yeah. And, so, and then you ask, are you okay? I'm right. I was right. Taura nyayako. Hey, what do you do? What do you do? <laughs> Next words to come out of your mouth. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I can't pima. I can't pima. I can't pima. What can I come up with? This week. I can't pima. Vas u pamiza. I don't see pee me and then the effort to pay me. Do I have any givers in the church? Do I, who's a giver? Say I'm a giver. Powerful giver. Say I seed. Yeah. Battle seed, you are there. Thousand, you are there. One twenty six, you are there. Battle seed. Fifty dollar, you are there. Business grants. You are there. Mark 5. Matthew 5. 22 to 23. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother without a cause, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. say I refuse to be angry at you without a cause. Hmm. If you are angry, you are in danger of judgment. 
And whoever says to his brother, Raka, is in danger of the council. But whoever says you are a fool is in danger of hell fire. If you take the word anger, can you write the word anger there on the screen? Somebody say anger. anger. Say it again, say anger. anger. Look at your neighbor and say, I have anger issues. <laughs> say it again, say I have anger. No, I want it as the main word on the main screen. Anger, the word anger. Just put it there. And I'm glad you put it in red. Shout anger. anger. Shout anger. anger. Very few th good things come out of anger. Very few. Now, I want you to put the, the letter D behind the A. Just one letter, Chet. Rataisa is a prefix. So when you are in anger, you are in danger. When you are in anger, you are in danger. It means anything you do from that moment going forward. I want you to lift up your right hand. I want you to search your heart. There's something that you've been angry about for a long time. Begin to pray and say, Lord, this thing that I'm angry about, I did not forgive. It started with unforgiveness. So, Father, I want you to remove the thing that caused me to be angry. Lord, because they are causing me to step into danger. I choose to remove anger because now my destiny is in danger. My breakthroughs are in danger because of anger. Help me, Jehovah. Help me, Jehovah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. He says, therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar. You see this? All of this. Somebody say, I'm constantly bringing a gift to the altar. And he says, and there, would you find out your You remember that your brother has something against you. Next verse. What should you do? Leave your gift there. I want to talk right now. <laughs> Leave your gift there. Go your way. First be reconciled with your brother. Hello? Hello? It means that if I give and I have issues with someone, it affects the productivity of the gift. So it could be you are blaming the church for your lack of harvest when it's really you with issues. So you've got to pray about this issue seriously. I want to put you on a fast today. issues now. Ah, finish. Let me move on to the next thing. Do you know what I hate in the spirit? <laughs> Luke 17 verse 1. <laughs> Therefore he said to the disciples, this is Jesus, it is impossible that offense should not come. It's not possible to my issues as I say, asahuye. but since achahuye, I'm equipping you to deal with them. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands to the altar. Father, I pray, may your blessing go with them. The anointing of the Holy Spirit go with them. May the peace of God go with them. That surpasses all understanding. I release peace. I release joy. I release anointing. I declare and I decree that because of today's session, I pray that things would open up for your children. Do for them what they cannot do for themselves. I release that power and that grace in Jesus' name. Father, show them mercy even as they show mercy unto others. In the name of Jesus, somebody say amen. God bless you. We love and appreciate you. Have a great day.